Hi guys. It took me a while to prepare for my next experiment. I tried to make it, I think, several months ago, but I failed due to not enough, not being enough prepared in technical way. I have several FX liners. Here are they, and that's why I can allow myself to make different experiments. You know, I used to push pellets through the barrels and to observe how they are being deformed and just I remember a lot of uh, different barrels and my best barrels that I used to shoot before they didn't deform all the pellet uh, they hardly touch the head of uh, the pellet and they deformed squirt rather severe and you know it gave good results when I started shooting FX and using FX liners, and as you know, uh, I've won the second place at Extreme Bench Rest 2021 with uh, FX Barrel and uh, my FX M3. During my experiments, I've understood that they are very, very tight if you compare with barrels that I get, get used to shoot before. And I had an idea to cut, to start cutting the chalk with a uh, probably minus five millimeters per one experiment to see what will uh, be differ and then I decided just to push the pellet up to the choke but not to push it through the choke and I found out that you know it looked quite similar to what I get used to get before with my previous barrels and previous previous guns that I tuned myself so I decided to start cutting choke and I have a different length of liners. Oops. So the longest one is original, and of course I didn't touch that one. Uh, that allowed me to take the second place on an extreme bench rest. And the other ones are each, I think, about minus minus five, minus seven millimeters. Well, guys, have you've seen before? I've uh, made several cuts of the FX liners and total difference between between them is one inch about one inch at the right you can see pellet that was pushed through the standard FX liner and you can see that it is affected in all dimensions of uh, the pellet by FX liner and the head and the skirt skirt and on the left you can see a pellet that was pushed through the longest cutted uh, liner it's minus one inch approximately and you can see that it affects the pellet quite the same way as uh, classic polygonal barrels does so the next step is to shoot all of these liners in equal conditions and to see how will this affect the accuracy. Now I have done everything I need. It's my second try. The first try was not the best one because I couldn't make all technical conditions I needed. And now I am absolutely happy and I will do the shooting and compare the results. I think it will be very, very interesting. And you know, I had tests today and uh, the shortest barrel that is about minus 20-25 millimeters, it's about minus one inch in comparison with original 700 millimeters uh, FX liner. You know, it gave good result and it seems to me that uh, it's because I've made chalk shorter, choke shorter, and mm, it's much less tight, so to say. Of course, I had to make some modifications. You can see that original front fixation part of the liner is rather long, and it doesn't allow me to fix uh, short liners. So I had to make another one and to cut it, I think, almost twice, make it twice shorter. Then I had to make the body of the barrel also shorter for about 15-20 millimeters and now it allows me to fix much shorter liners. 
I had to cu cut the front fixing part of the barrel to make it shorter to be able to fix the shortest liner I've made and also I had to cut the length of uh, barrel body to again to be able to fix the shortest liner I have you know I continue I will continue my experiment I will continue cutting the chokes and I will continue holding experiments because it's rather interesting for me as you know every air gun uh, have, has a lot of variables during shooting and I tried to make this variables absent so to say so I had to get away the magazine and put the single load tray I had to get everything away from the barrel so you can see the naked barrel and I understand that the power of tension uh, that is being used on this part when we fix the liner inside of the barrel may affect the accuracy a lot. Uh, first of all uh, it obviously affects the vibrating of uh, liner itself during shooting and then if to use too much force it can just deform a bit and uh, give too much tension on uh, liner and so it will also affect accuracy I think really much. That's why I used my special it seems to me, wrench that allows me to fix the torque moment that is being used. I had to cut a uh, special instrument. It's not nice, but you know, it works good. And now I use uh, one and a half Newton meters torque moment to fix the liner. So they all are fixed in the same way. And I know that I have as little variables as it's possible in this situation. So, you know, I'm really satisfied with the result because uh, it's showed that cutting the choke in my very situation with my pellets, I'll remind you that it's a GSB Monster Redesigns, to 100, yards, uh, 100 meters distance, it's 110 yards distance. You know, it affected a lot, as for me. So I decided to continue the experiment. I will continue cutting the liners and I will continue cutting the uh, barrel body, so to say, barrel tube, to be allowed to shoot with shorter liners. And I think uh, we'll have rather interesting results. Now you will see just uh, in a very fast way uh, my shooting, so you can observe the results and I hope that this experiment will be interesting for you so follow my channel subscribe and everything will be fine guys by the way I want to say thanks for all of your you kind of guys that supported me with all this strange situation in the world and I just want you to know that we're fine here and everything is fine and I feel all the warmth and kindness that comes from people who are worried about me, my family. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Thank you.